Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutormash.com. In this session, we will be covering the topic compression of schedules using fast tracking and crashing. Fast tracking and crashing is two schedule compression technique that is described in Project Management Body of Knowledge (PMBOK) that is recommended by PMI. So, compression of schedules is a technique that can be used when your management is asking you to reduce the total duration of project. So in such cases you can go for fast tracking or crashing. First of all we will see the concept behind fast tracking. Look at this activity A and B. Activity B will start after completion of activity A. So what is the total duration of the project? 8 days. And now your management is asking you or your client is asking you to reduce this duration to 5 days you got no choice you have to do this work parallelly so doing work parallelly is called as fast tracking so when you do work parallelly what happens you can reduce the total project duration to five days and you have to do this technique on critical activities so this is called as fast tracking next technique is crashing crashing will work only on resources let's say there is two activities a and b and two masons are working on activity A and two masons are working on activity B. Now your project manager or your client is asking you to reduce the duration from 8 days to 4 days. You got no choice. You can increase the resource. You can increase the resource from 2 to 4 masons. So when 4 masons works, automatically the duration of the activity decreases to 2 days so the project total duration becomes four days. This technique is called as crashing. Now we'll see how to do this technique in Primavera. So let's open the software. Look at this example. Here there are some activities that is column starters, reinforcement, shuttering, concreting, slab and beam shuttering, reinforcement, concrete and project management. So the total duration of the project is 36 days and there are some critical activities and non-critical activities as well. When you work in a project that contains 3000 activities or 10,000 activities or maybe 20,000 activities, then there will be a lot of critical and non-critical activities. So if you want to reduce this duration from 36 to some 30 days or 26 days, you can do fast tracking or crashing. So let's see how fast tracking work in Primavera. The first thing is you have to filter all the critical activities. So go to filter, customize, say filter all critical activities and say apply. Now program will show all the critical activities. Now you have to look into these activities and see which activities can be done parallelly. Here, column reinforcement starts after column starters. So there will be several starter columns in your site. So it's not necessary to wait all starters to finish in order to start column reinforcement. So after some two days of column starters, you can actually start column reinforcement. So what do you do? You have to go to column reinforcement, go to predecessors and make the relationships to start to start and give a lag of two days schedule it you can see the duration from 36 days changed to 33 days same way column shuttering you can actually start after third day of column reinforcement so again you can go to the relationship and change to start to start and give three days schedule it you can see the duration from 36 now changed to 30 days. So this is how you do the work parallelly. Now we will see how crashing works in Primavera. Go to slab and beam reinforcement, go to resources. Here slab and beam reinforcement is of 8 days activity where 5 masons works per day. Now we will do one thing, we will increase the resources and see how the activity duration change. So to make this done, you have to go to general and change the duration type from fixed duration and units to fixed units. Then go to resources, increase the mason from 5 to 10 and press enter. You can see 
slab and beam reinforcement duration from 8 days it changed to 4 days schedule again you can see the total project duration from 30 days becomes 26 days so this is how we apply fast tracking and crashing in Primavera so what do you have to do when you work in a real project look into the project understand which activity can be done parallelly then apply fast tracking and if you see some activities duration can be decreased if you raise the number of resources then you go for crashing and here is how we do it in Primavera so hope you understood this session and thanks for watching